Here's an intermittent problem with a Husky LED flashlight. I got, I think, three of these in a set. These are two of them. This guy here uses double A's. This one uses D cells. It's got a real bright light on in the front, probably half a watt to a white. A watt. Uh, this one has been intermittent. And what's odd about it is that you can go check the LED works, you can check the batteries work. Uh, this piece is screwed in onto here. This front here is screwed in. This is a press fit. And what I've found is a connection between the body of this and this sometimes isn't there. You can ohm it out. So uh, you can't just unscrew this section. So I've ended up just taking a big knife and go through and just scratch this and nick this so that the metal on this is formed of this. This is anodized and you've got actually a joint here that sometimes is high resistance and at least in this model I've got this Heskey which is a home brand from Home Depot it doesn't uh, there's no continuity between the body of this and this so the light doesn't work and this baffled the hell out of me because I've never seen this in a flashlight in years and years and years because they used to have an old metal strip that ran to the box. Here they use the back, the body, which is aluminum, which is good. But I found that if I went through here and just scratched this through this or just peened this with a over in here with a uh, chisel or a knife and just uh, banged the heck out of it with a nail and got this to form the metal here, boom, the light will work. This has happened about two or three times since I've owned it. And it's kind of frustrating because you change batteries, uh, check the light works, and uh, this little guy I've never had the problem. But evidently on this, they've got a press fit here, and then the anodization or the coating is so good that it's got a high resistance on here. And you can actually ohm it out. It'll be way open, and then if I go through here, you can see I've scratched it or banged it, and then it'll go ahead and work. So that's the odd thing here on a Husky LED flashlight. I've never seen this before on another uh, LED flashlight, but in this one I've had high resistance between this joint. And I've tried to use a wrench to take it off and concluded this is actually a press fit on here. This screws in, of course, where you can put the batteries, or you can unscrew this to put the light on. But at least on here I've had a problem where the connection between this part of the aluminum and this part of the aluminum is worked when I first got it and then six months later didn't and you know you go through swapping batteries and checking the batteries out with a with a battery tester like one of these from Radio Shack and then you find out the batteries work you jump it with a wire and it's worked and then lo and behold the body actually has got a high resistance between the two so um, I put a mark on here and took two big vice grips or uh, channel locks and tried to undo this and doesn't want to rotate so I've concluded that it's actually a press fit in there. So if I've gone through and just nicked the heck out of it to make sure the metal kind of smears together over here, then the light works. And that's on the one that's got two D cells. This is about a four year old flashlight. That this other one that's the double A, I've never had no, any issue with it. Um, I've had LED flashlights now for probably 10 years. I had some that went through Katrina and got salt water that actually got inside the bodies. And then the circuit boards went out. So where this has got five little LEDs, this has just got one big one. But on another brand, I had them to where after time only half the LEDs worked. But uh, just wanted to show this weird problem here.